I'm pretty much doing this by myself, and we've gone from zero to three hundred, you know, three thousand six hundred devices in the course of two months, and I'm still alive, which I think is a huge testament. Um, if you try to deploy that many, you know, of any other platform, you would have significantly more issues. Just that's pretty gosh darn impressive. Um, what's really nice is we have a, a third party vendor that does the white glove enrollment for us. They actually put it in the suborg for us. So once I set up that 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 suborg uh, organizational structure and have the permissions and stuff and all the settings set up, I do really nothing. These carts appear at a school, and I think we have upward of 63 right now with Chromebook carts. They show up, and they all work exactly the same. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. And, um, you know, right now, I think we're buying a lot of Dells. We have some HPs out there, but, like, if we decided to go with 100% Acers, we could switch devices on the fly, and the experience would be uniform from device to device. So as far as training teachers, that's huge, um, especially in a shared environment. San Francisco has about 65,000 students, and we have about, we're hoping to get about up to 20% penetration this year as far as, as technology. So students will go from one class to another, and just to be able to have that continuity of experience regardless of what device. I mean, it's not even about Chromebooks if you think about it. You know, if a school decided to go with Windows, launch a browser, you pretty much got a Chromebook. So to be able to go from class to class, curriculum to curriculum, go home and have, you know, that continuity is pretty pretty darn huge. But I, I don't even know when Chromebooks show up. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think I think last time I checked, there were 500 less in the system, and now we have another 500 I didn't even know were being rolled out. And uh, Help Desk, I think, uh, I think they were joking with me last year. They didn't want any Chromebooks. They couldn't stand it. Person didn't want them. I didn't want them. Help Desk didn't want them. And now Help Desk wants to, like, practically hug me. You know, the, the amount of support calls for Chromebooks are so minute. And when they are, it's, it's maybe someone doing a white glove for getting to take it out of, you know, de developer mode or something like that. It, it's the failure rate or issues at, at a site are pretty much none. The teachers just love how solid it is as a platform. You know, I kind of talk in analogies, and I, and I equate a Chromebook with like a wooden pencil. You know, it's not glamorous. If it's broken, it's in one. You know, I don't know if you remember in elementary school, they'd have these little tin cans, you know, sharpened and broken ones. And it didn't really matter which one you picked up because they were kind of the same. And teachers like that. You know, you could have the best, you could have a $2,000 gaming machine in, in the corner, and if it doesn't work 10% of the time, it's not as useful. So teachers constantly come up to me and go, thank you for having a device that just works. And if a kid has a problem, they just grab another one, and, and, and it's it just, the technology kind of disappears from the picture, and it just comes about, you know, tasks and learning and, and transition time is minimal. So for me, that's the biggest success, just the ability to kind of scale immediately with minimal uh, resources.